Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this video we are going to be looking at a car rig. This car rig allows you to add your own car model and wheels into this uh, espresso driven rig and allows the wheels to rotate and, and have sort of like some suspension acting as well uh, on grounds and aligning to splines and things like that so it's a really lovely little rig to be able to quickly add to your own vehicle and get some nice realistic movement with it okay as you can see this rig has been created by Matteo Forghieri uh, I apologize if I pronounced that wrong but you can see that his details are there okay and I'm just going to delete that um, just that tag for the moment just so the uh, thing is out of my way so there we go so let's have a look at this car rig so it's got some standard controls um, and some espresso and user data and the standard controls allow you to move your car backwards and forwards and what the nice thing is is you can see that those wheels are going round and they are seating themselves nicely on the ground so they are not slipping or sliding they are going exactly where they need to go you've got some nice little controls up here as well so if I just get the rotate tool there I can ooh, get the rotation and I can rotate those wheels and you can see nicely that the uh, the bodywork rocks from side to side as well to give that sort of sense that it's leaning to one particular area uh, let's put that back to zero. I've also got my uh, little box up here, and that can give you some ni some nice sort of little eighties boombox stuff going on there. Or you can rock the car from side to side or forward and backwards. So anything from a learner driver to sort of nineteen eighties boomboxing. Um, but it's a, a really lovely little rig again. So I'm just going to reset that now we've got some useful things on here um, I've got a plane with a random effector on it um, which is making the thing bumpy so I'm just going to I'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to move the uh, landscape backwards you can see that those wheels go round oh no the wheels don't go round sorry at the moment because they're not moving but you can see that as the thing gets bumpier the wheels try to respond so I'm just going to move that back a bit and then if I move the car forward using the main controls that helps there you go you can see the wheels try to stay to the ground but they adjust the you know the axis the orientation of the car to make it look like it's going over all of those little bumps created by that geometry and that's that's really easy to do okay which I will you know show you in a minute you can also align it to a spline as well so if you want it to follow a spline round you can do that um, and we've got a spline in here already I think and I can just turn that tag on um, and then using that tag if I just whiz through the hundred percent so you can see that it follows the way its way around and it starts off nice and smooth but it and it bumps its way over all of those and the car works as, as much as it can to fit itself onto that plane so let's have a go at putting our own car in it so I'm just going to go to the content browser and then I'm going to search for car uh, not what I was expecting um, there we go let's have a look oh we've got a van no let's go for the um, the uh, the hot hatch so what I'm going to do I'm just going to hide some things at the moment that I don't need right now and I'm going to take out a few things so I've got the geometry of the wheels which I'm just going to get rid of and we've got the body car body so I should just delete that okay I'm just gonna hide him for the moment as well and you can see what we're left with this is the car rig okay it's quite simple um, we've got the front wheels there and that's the turning circle that that uses okay you can see that these are the pivot points so this sphere here is what the tires turn around so that's where you're going to need to make sure that sort of like the inner side of your tires are and there's sort of the outer sides are here as well okay 
Looking at our Expresso and user data, okay, so let's just look at the user data. You can choose the length of the car, so you can increase and decrease it. You can increase and decrease the width as well. You can turn off auto banking, so that will do when it wobbles from side to side. You can increase and decrease the wheel dimensions, so how far apart they are in one way, how far apart they are in width. You can change the center position so that they move further or you know further or further forward or further back from the wheel body you can increase and decrease the wheel radius you need to make sure that you get that near on as exact as you can to make sure that the wheels go round in the right place and stick to the correct place the the correct ground part you can increase and decrease the back part of the wheels as well so anything from you know hey look we've got a penny farthing going on here or maybe a tractor um, so that's quite a nice little thing there um, you can do positive and negative so choose which way round it goes um, you can add some bounce to the car as well so it bounces as it goes and, you know so how little it does and doesn't the noise that the wheels get when they are traveling, so they increase and decrease that. Surface, this is the surface that you clamp it to, as you can see, clamp surface. So, because it was clamped to that plane, it tries to keep the wheels down on that plane, but that's what it, it forces itself down from and up and down to give that proper bouncing up and down. Um, and then you've got surface distances, so you can tweak the, the surface difference between the wheel and, and the surface and this just gives you a nice little idea of how fast your car is going when you've got it animated so let's apply it to our own one then so I know we've got to do a few things here so I'm just going to make sure that um, this controls are at zero so to start with I'm just going to zero that out and also turn off uh, align to spline I need to turn my car around which would be uh, really helpful what display? Just, yeah, I'm just going to put um, grout shading on, just to get rid of some of the uh, lines that I don't need. So that is in the centre. I don't think that one is. No. So I'm just going to centre that out. There we go. So that's at zero. And I know one of the things that I need to do with the car is, I believe the wheels are all under. Yes, they are. Okay, so I now have four separate wheels as opposed to two lots of symmetry, which had been no good whatsoever. And I'm also going to need to now put the wheels in to here, but I want to line these up to start with. So if I just have a look at that wheel, like one of these wheels in size plus, I can see that it is roughly 65.5 centimeters. Okay, so that's how big I need to make sure this is so 65.5 divided by 2 um, I don't need to worry about because I can let this do the maths for me um, main controls so 65.5 and then I can divide that by 2 and that will give me almost exactly what the wheel radius is so it should match those now we just need to get this car to fit so let's have a, a shift of these. So where is the center position? So there we go. So the center is about there. But I find that you need to align the wheels to start with because if you then do the wheel length, you know, it can all go a little bit do lally. Um, so let's get the things where we need them to be. So let's maybe use a side view for this one. And it's just going to take a little bit of tweaking. And then we need to adjust those widths because those circles need to be 
those spheres need to be on the inside of the wheel so that it turns from the right place so that one should be easy to manipulate so let's just bring those into there okay cool okay now what we should be able to do is if I grab my main controls and then move them we should be able to see that those wheels go round huzzah there we go and uh, with sort of relatively minimal effort to be able to get that to align quite nicely and I've still got access to be able to rotate those obviously we might have some uh, issues with the brake things in there so I'd probably need to put those in the wheel group which wouldn't be too hard to do and then you know use the body and little bits of rocking or backwards and forwards okay so I'm just going to undo that so to create yourself um, uh, a sort of rocky terrain for it to go on it really is using a simple plane okay which is you know you then drag and drop into the expresso data so you just drag and drop it there um, and you use a random effector okay as a deformer onto a point so if I was just to do that for you so let's get a very large plane oh, it's a tiny plane um, so let's get a much longer plane yeah let's let's start with a long plane doesn't have to be um, doesn't have to be wide for the moment um, okay and make it editable and then using a random deformer sorry a random effector make that a child of the plane turn it to deformer uh, point there we go ooh blimey um, maybe not quite so much so let's make it a bit ripply um, and then under the expressor user data you've got the surface you want to clamp it to and you just choose that plane and then when you use your main controls there we go it will attach itself to that plane now you've also got on your main controls uh, an align to spline tag you can just simply make that editable and align it to a spline if you have one there so we have got um, I believe a spline in here and same as you normally use align to spline okay which is in another tutorial which I can link to um, you can attach your car to follow that spline but that was quite a nice quick little way of how to get you know a, a really easy car rig you know really quite simply with a little with little effort so once again thank you to um, Matteo for that nice little car rig I hope that was a useful tutorial for you guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk